I decided to trust you guys and listen to Kikuo. Now, how did it go? It's the dancing frog! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in this video, I reacted to Love Me, Love Me, Love Me. Yes, I decided to trust Bob one last time. Dance of the Frogs. Song of the Night. <laughs> You're a worthless child. Why does that have to be so, like, straight to the point? <laughs> and the last one. Hold one. I see you guys. I see you guys. You guys wanted me to get into Kikuo because I've already experienced the worst. Is this... Oh no, this is, isn't it? Oh no! It's about abuse. Very bad abuse. Thank God I experienced the worst first, because this was a great experience. And it all starts off with Love Me, Love Me, Love Me. What's this circus sound? Okay, wait. The song's got something going. It actually sounds good. Oh, that was cool art. Ah! Ah, so this song's about, um, like, a child wanting love. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I could be like that orchestra person that does the thingies with their fingers. They finger people. Wait. Sorry, I'm pausing that. Because I put on subtitles, the YouTube subtitles, to understand this song. And I just realized they somehow gave the subtitles. Because look, it says, I like you there. I turn it off. It disappears. How the fuck did they edit the subtitles to do that? That is just an insane talent right there. I mean, the song is actually really good. Um, but the subtitles? This is just cool. I want to know how to do that. Oh, but will I ever do it? <laughs> Probably not. But anyways. So filthy. Ah, oh, just have a shower. I shit that. Bro, I'm actually singing along to a Vocaloid song. This is cool. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Man. Vocaloid producers are just awesome. See? That wasn't bad. So I thought this song was about a child wanting attention just by their parents, but I was wrong. It's actually about a child wanting attention from everyone. They cannot stand the thought of anyone disliking them. And it's all because their parents pressured them to be perfect, which caused them to constantly seek validation from everyone. Just like how I am constantly seeking your validation to subscribe. So subscribe to see my fresh adventure into Vocaloid. Thank you very much. Because my next video is Reverse Vocaso. <laughs> uh, you guys told me that that exists, so I, I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm kind of terrified, actually. So let's just go on to the next song, Dance of the Frogs. <laughs> okay, that is such an epic, wacky name for a song name. Dance of the Frogs. <coughs> now, what could such an epic, wacky name be about? It's about Buddhism and reincarnation or something like that. Look, sometimes knowing what it's about does not matter because this song slaps. Oh, that was a good one. Oh. Okay, Dance of the Frogs. I hope this is going to be a fun song just because of the title being Dance of the Frogs. I want to see some ribbit, ribbit dancing, man. Let's get into this. Keep cool. Oh, 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 okay. This is already a good song. I like it already. Kiku definitely has that airiness vibe for their music, which is quite nice. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Get <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm not gonna lie. It still goes off. It's a good song. 
Okay. Hi. Dude, this just goes off, man. I need it. I need it. Walking stick. You know, we have Dance of the Frogs. Now we have the Dance of the Walking Stick. Don't judge me. Look, at some point, the two of us become frogs, okay? Okay? I'm only slightly confused about this song, but after this, like, I've recorded all my reactions, I'll be do like, doing research on all the songs and then give a, a small wee explanation. For, you know, I'm gonna be doing like, some commentary <laughs> shit, yeah? Anyways, let's do this. Dude, this was a cool music video. It's still going, though. Dude, the color scheme, I like it. I like it. I like the color scheme. <laughs> Spinning away. <laughs> Dude, this is trippy though. It's the dancing frog. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Whoa. I love that pattern design. Wow. What can I say? Not bad, bro. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna lie. If there were character designs like this in Goddamn Binding of Isaac, that would be freaking cool. It's kinda of like that in um Cult of the Lamb, kind of. But man, I just love this character design so much. It's so cool. This song is for real Z's a bop, okay? It's just so good. It starts off slow and slowly speeds up throughout the entire song. Each time there's a reincarnation, the tempo goes up and my joy goes up and my p goes up. But each time it speeds up, it gets more groovy and addicting and I just want to... <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's like brainwashing me to dance non-stop. Which means that it's not a good thing because I can't dance. Now, this song drained my energy so much that it basically used my energy to reincarnate some goddamn frogs and I'm here for it because goddamn that was freaking awesome and I love it so much and it was just so cool and it's so great to know. I love it. <laughs> but now that I'm so drained, I think I need the song of the night. Man, I'm good at these transitions today. Just wait for the next one. <laughs> so today I learned that Kikuo can actually have some nice, upbeat, happy songs. Okay, so in three, two, one, now. Hey guys, I think I know what the song's about. It's about mm, night, a song of the night. Oi. <laughs> Dude! This is good, I like it. Dude, that character design is so cool. Ah! This is a nice song. Cool meanings, a good meaning. It's a nice upbeat Kikuo song so far. It could, it could be, it could become like a depressing hellhole, but who knows? This is really, really good. Oi! Yo, I love dancing beetles. Dance of the Frogs, Dance of the Beatles. This is just amazing. Oh, and when it's daytime, they look like, they feel like that. Oh my God. I love this. I love this. Oh my God. Thank you guys for telling me that. Basically, I got all, like, for the worst of Kikuo with Gomen Gomen. <laughs> cool. The two meet. They feel like, wow, this is, this is just a beautiful song. Wow. Uh, this is cool. I love how like, it's also pretty easy to sing along to, which is nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, okay, okay. So what I got from this song is that it's about how people feel more free at night than in the day. Because in the night all you want to do is just have fun because there's no people around and you just feel free. You're free to do what you want without judgement. But in the morning you're just a slob. 
Like, who actually wants to do stuff in the morning? Like, god damn it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Definitely not me, because I've been postponing me recording this for a few days now. Because I record in the morning, you see. But this was pleasant. It made me appreciate the versatility that Kiko has with their music. Kiko. And it's actually quite inspiring for me. Being able to see someone so big in a community be so versatile with what they do, and their fans still enjoying it, it's just inspiring, okay? That's what I want to do. But since Kikuo is inspiring, do you know what you are to me? You are a worthless child. <laughs> I thought that would transition better than I thought, okay? So now we're going back to the dark, twisted Kikuo side. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but this is something that I understood terribly wrong when I first listened to it. I'm really gonna fall in love with Vocaloid, aren't I? Oh my god, there's gonna be so many videos for you guys. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. So let's get into this. And a three, and a two, and a one. You didn't need to hit me in, right in the feels. Kikuo loves doing the la la la's. This is actually a lot happier than I thought it would be. Basically saying how the person is so bad that this person likes them. Wait a second. Wait, let's just, let's just take a moment to realize that I am dancing happily to a song about someone basically dissing a child. Really bad, but fuck it's catchy. This is a good song though. Oh, and now they've grown up. Oh, 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 pardon me. Oh, oh. Ah. Ah. Wow, that's kind of like, it's, it's a good, like this song's a good listen. I like it, I like it. Yeah, Kikuo loves the la la la's. Okay, well that was, that, that was actually, I thought it was going to be a lot more depressing. Um, but that wasn't that bad, uh, to be real. Yeah, so after I went through this again, I understood what it meant. So I think it's about a mum who emotionally abuses her child and continues to abuse that child all the way up until they're grown up. And then when their child disappears, died, ran away, or just something like that, the mom realizes that she was the useless one all along, which is kind of sad. But yet again, it goes into that sphere of this happens to people and it's just, it's just sad, you know? But damn, one might say that's dwelling. Some might even say that you should become a Patreon to get my full reactions to the songs in this video. Plus, you'll also support me, and that is epic. They might actually say that, but some would actually say, oh, <coughs> dwelling. Damn, that was just a great transition. I'm on fire today. I'm on fire. <laughs> but yo, this is long. Like a long song. But surprisingly, it went by really quickly. Which is a compliment because it shows that I really enjoyed the song. Even though if it is a song about a couple who are failing to survive in the world and eventually leads to them doing it not alive, I still enjoyed it. So let's go into Whole Dwelling, the last song. It goes for six minutes. Oh, I low-key hate songs that go for, for a long time, okay? Uh, but I'll still go through it. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, now. Okay, so we're back to the eerie vibe that we've been getting. This is creepy. Ugh. Oh, they gave me a chill down my spine. Hey, 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 who cares if this is gonna be depressing? This is goddamn upbeat and catchy. Is this like about a cult? Oh god, this song. Gives me chills. <laughs> Whoa! This song is so amazing! Uh, oh. <laughs> Pardon me. There we go, the la la la's.
Hell yeah! Let's dance! I mean, dude, it's tropical now! We have to dance! So when they found someone and invited them and made like a new friend, it became more like of a tropical for them. They got happier. And now it's starting to break down. After they all realize something's happened. Damn. That's a good transition right there. And the actual sound of the song has actually changed a wee bit. Wow. I am. Wow, this song is really good. How long? Okay, wow. That went by real quick. Okay. That is kind of a surprise. Kikuo knows how to grasp your attention for a six minute long song. That is very, very talented. Like legitimately, that's extremely talented. Like I am not kidding. I was just saying at the start of this how I hate long songs, but the way that Kikuo was able to like change the, the beat and like just change like small wee things, it kept grasping my attention and that was awesome. <laughs> like legitimately really awesome. So there we go. So basically all that I learned is that Kikuo makes Vocaloid music depressing in a goddamn catchy way, baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. But for realsies, it's great that there is a producer out there that wants to hit these topics. And I love it so much. I really, really love it so much. And I can't wait to get more into Kikuo's music. Uh, in the future, I'll be doing like solo videos on just songs that I love from Kikuo. And also I'll be doing more reactions like this. So just keep hitting me with recommendations. My next video is Okasa in Reverse. Don't know what that's going to be like. You guys have been saying it so much. I'm kind of terrified, and then after that, it's probably going to be stuff on Deco 27. So stay tuned and subscribe. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys all have a great day. Keep smiling. Be happy out there because I want you to be, okay? When we deal with this type of music, I want you to try and be happy. Please. And yeah, other than that, 